Yes. Birthdays. Valentine's Day. They all have one thing in common, and it's not silly hats. It's these cards. If you're lucky, you'll get lots of them. But where do you store them after you finish celebrating? Well, in one of these, the Fingertips US Mailbox. US standing for Ultimate Storer, and it certainly is. All you do is open it up, pop your cards inside, and then prop up the flag to show it's got lots of mail in. Pretty neat, huh? And it starts out as a shoebox and a cardboard tube. Now, to make the stand here, you want to start off getting a polystyrene cup and filling it up with sand to weigh it down and make it more sturdy. Then put the lid of the cup back on and get a nice big piece of sticky tape and wrap it all the way around the outside like this. And then get one more piece of tape and put it over the hole on top because now we're going to turn it upside down and you don't want any sand to spill out. There we go. Now you want to get your tube. The ones from a roll of tin foil are best because they're nice and sturdy. Then you want to paint it a wood brown colour and add a wood grain effect using a black pen like that. Then take a water bottle, take off the plastic cap and push it inside your tube like that. Now we found that most water bottle lids will fit in very snugly but keep trying until you find one that fits and then you want to push the other end straight into the base of your polystyrene cup just like that and it should sit in very nicely. Then take a piece of card and cut out some grass shapes and get a ruler or a pen and just curl over the edges like that for a nice realistic effect. Then you can just wrap your grass around the base of your cup to neaten the whole thing off. There you go, Steve. Why, right, thank you. Now it's time to make the first part of the actual mail box. And for this, you take your shoe box and you paint the inside any colour you like. Then with a sharp pencil, just make a hole in the bottom, just there. Then you take your bottle, we've already painted ours, and you squeeze the neck of the bottle through the hole you've made. And check this out, this is so cool. How about this for a fingertips nifty device? Look, you just screw the bottle in place, no need for sticky tape or glue, it just stays there like that. I love that bit. So now let's take it back off, because the next part is a lot easier to do on the table. You're going to make the roof of the mailbox now. Just take a bit of card and cover it in full, with the non-shiny side facing out, and stick it in place just like that. Now to make the front and the back of a US mail store up, you need to take your arch and draw around it onto some card. So just draw all the way around it, there we go, and around this side too. And then you just want to cut out this shape and cover it in foil. And then stick it to the end of your shoe box. Now, do exactly the same to the other end, but this time, before you stick on your end, you just need to make two slits down the seams of your shoe box so you have this flappy bit. Then, stick it on, and you have a flappy door. And now to make the door catch. Now, this couldn't be easier. Just get two bits of hook and loop fastener, and one there, and one there. Now, you can lock the door. And you can open it. And to show that you have mail, then you need to make a flag. Now you do this by getting a cocktail stirrer and put it inside a bendy straw and attach that to the side of it. And then you want to add a few pieces of cardboard covered in foil just to keep your straw in place. And then when you've got mail, you can prop up your little flag. And on the front of the door, we've added a handle and we've also put some little bolts in there with black pen. OK, now let's attach the mailbox to our nifty device. Here it goes. It goes in there and just screw it in place. So easy, isn't it? Look at that. So make yourself the coolest way to store your cards, postcards and letters. If you fancy making one, as always, just check out the Fingertips website. We'll give you the address at the end of today's programme. Click on Top Make and there you have it, all of the information at your fingertips. Or if you have a pen and paper, should we go over it one more time? Yeah. Here we go. To make your mailbox stand, fill a cup with sand and decorate a cardboard tube to make your pole and firmly fix a water bottle lid in one end. Fit the pole into the cup and decorate with grass and then for the mailbox, make a hole in the base of a shoe box. Fit in a water bottle and there you have your fingertips nifty securing device. Curve over a sheet of card to make a type of hood and make two cardboard ends making one into a door. Add hook and loop fastener and add details like a cocktail stirrer flag and plenty of screws and bolts. And you could have a go at making an English mailbox version like this one here. Again, using the fingertips nifty device to secure the stand to your shoebox and your mail goes in just there. And you can get it back by opening up the door at the back 
just like that. And if you cut your bottle down, you've also got a storage place for all your stamps. How about that? Stephen, look, you've got some other flags. Oh, brilliant, because I actually don't have a personal assistant to do this, as you know, because I have so much now to open every week. I've had to give it a week off. She's having so much. What does this one say? Too firm. Oh, uh, right. Thank you, Stephen.